today. Uh, welcome, chocolate lover, to Chocolate TV episode 232. Uh, and uh, uh, I thought this episode I try two chocolates, both with uh, added flavoring, uh, not from chocolate, for, but from other f other things. Uh, first off, uh, a Danish chocolate uh, called uh, Summerbird organic chocolate and this has 36% uh, cocoa and uh, it is uh, full of stairs and trintario beans uh, it's, it has been conched for 24 hours uh, the micron size of the particle is 20 micron this is white chocolate added in a balanced amount of Iranian licorice so uh, and the other one is uh, Willis cocoa uh, English manufacturer, uh, if you've seen BBC Willis Chocolate Factory, uh, BBC documentary how he created his chocolate brand. Uh, this is uh, ginger lime flavored chocolate. Uh, it says uh, dark chocolate with ginger, cocoa solid 70% minimum, cocoa mass, raw cane sugar, crystallized ginger 12%, stem ginger sugar, cocoa butter, essential lime oil. Uh, oat 0.1%. So I thought we'd start with a low cocoa content as we all, always do. Summerbird, Danish brand. Uh, got some other chocolate bars from them as well in the stash. My stash. This is white chocolate. And dark chocolate. white chocolate. A lot of packaging. Uh, a wax paper wrap with a aluminum uh, paper, oh no, aluminum wrapping and then a plastic tray looking almost like dark chocolate with the chocolate in and the chocolate uh, is very I'd say this is kind of neat in one way. I'm broken. Uh, this is what white chocolate should actually look like if you don't uh, process it too much, don't clean it too much with uh, harmful chemicals and things like that. You got a uh, old bone and beige color to it, and. I can see the Iranian licorice powder inside this, and, and I guess it's. Did it say vanilla? Did it say vanilla? Hmm. Should have read that before I ripped. Sugar, cocoa, butter, milk powder, licorice powder, vanilla. Yeah. So this could be licorice powder. As well as vanilla traces in the white chocolate, the white chocolate, the cocoa butter. White chocolate is essentially cocoa butter. Summer bird. So uh, I'll take that piece that broke off and I'll uh, sniff it. White chocolate, you know, it, it smells like lots of sugar, lots of vanilla, and lots of wax. But typical cocoa butter. Not so much licorice and but let's let's try it. Sweet. Very sweet. Then comes a hint of saltiness and not sea salt, more like salt from the earth. Now the licorice comes up in front, licorice powder, licorice root, if you haven't had 
genuine licorice root, you have no idea what I'm talking about. First off, the chocolate is kind of uh, gooey, then melts off, uh, getting more wa watery as it melts in your mouth. Still, a lot of you got a, a sense of fat on your palate from the cocoa butter. And it's sweet and it has some vanilla traces and it has some salty and traces and then the licorice root comes. But very, very... This is candy, uh, but a very special candy. Very special candy. Uh, I would recommend this as candy. And uh, I think you'll eat this with a uh, amaretto liqueur or uh, uh, why not uh, take an orange flavored like a con Cointreau liqueur to this. It might be very good or old dark rum. Mm -hmm. that, might, that might function very well. Very well. Whoa, whoa. I've got a problem in pronouncing things tonight, I think. I've been working too hard. Uh, so, let's try uh, Willis Coco. Ginger lime. Ginger is a very uh, interesting kind of flavor. I had spent a week in Paris this summer and we went to a, a restaurant and they served a pre dessert. Pre dessert, and it was a lemongrass and ginger sorbet. It was the nicest, most flavorful, fantastic sorbet I ever had. Just amazing. So, nice piece of chocolate, 70% uh, cocoa. Uh, kind of not that glossy, but yeah. You got a hint of, of a dark red in a dark brown chocolate. Let's break it off. Hmm, there's something there. Is that the ginger? It was candied ginger, ginger root and sugar. So let's see what does it scent. What does it smell like? What's its scent? Yeah, you, you can feel the lime actually can feel the lime. Lime and ginger are somewhat similar in, in, uh, in their nose, as to, as to speak. There's some dry dark chocolate back there, but it's still a lot of citrus, a lot of lime, hints of ginger as well. And there's a, a very vague uh, reminiscence of uh, red dirt, red soil. So let's try it. Kind of bitter first. Dry, very dry. But still you're crunching the sugar, the candied uh, ginger, the sugar. I guess that the process of making a candied uh, ginger takes away a bit of the very strict and uh, razor's edge acidity from uh, that ginger usually carry with it. The lime is just lying there as a background. Chocolate is melting nicely, more like uh, milk than water. disappearing down. It's like red tea on the back end. 
and the ginger stills in your mouth because you got flakes of it left. And now comes the ginger heat when you bite on the flakes. But then all the chocolate is already gone. I don't believe in chewing chocolate. I believe in savoring it, let it melt in your mouth. Not bad. Not super good. Uh, a nice treat after a Asian meal. A nice treat. I don't know what to if you pair this with any beverage at all. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that could be. Uh, I think you eat this by yourself. Not on itself. Not by yourself. Oh, never mind. Uh, so uh, I gave the white chocolate. Did I? Hey, did I even score that one? I don't remember. Well, let's see. When I look back on the uh, recording, did I score it? If not, I should have scored it. Should have scored it four out of ten, uh, due to to the candy aspect, but. I love licorice and chocolate in a totally different way than cocoa butter and, and uh, licorice root, actually. And this one, a six, a good piece of uh, nice treat for your mouth, a uh, little bit of ups and downs, but not bad. And that's it for this week's episode, and I'll see you next week. Bye.